Hello all, welcome to Tech Tapture. Myself Vishal Bulbule and in this video we are going to see about a very interesting topic that is SQL ingestion attack. So this is a technique used by a hacker to get access to a database in an authorized way for any kind of uh, web application or data driven web application. So there are different kinds of cyber attacks you might heard about like a DDoS attack or cross-site scripting or a SQL ingestion attacks. So in this video we are looking for SQL ingestion attack. So don't worry, we'll see a theoretical concept first, then we'll try to explain the technique for this SQL ingestion and then we'll see one live demo, how we can get access to database of any of the web application without having any kind of username or password for that a database. So first I'll go to a basic definition of this SQLI or SQL ingestion attack. So SQL ingestion is a code ingestion technique used to attack a data driven application. So as I said data driven application it means the applications which are connected to database or which serves user request by connecting to database and giving result back as a data from the database. So in which malicious SQL statements are inserted into an entry field for execution. So Entry field can be your username or password where you have to provide input in a web page. So in that field, a hacker can put a malicious SQL code and get access to a database once that code is executed on the database. Now we'll see how we can understand the kind of uh, theft we have for this attack. So I'll just go to this a uh, simple demo so here just take example we have one web application which is deployed on web server and there is one database which is also connected to this application so the database your web server and web applications are connected and serving normally to the user now what will happen now hacker will come and it will first analyze vulnerabilities in your SQL or any database with your application and then he will find a way to enter a malicious SQL statements into this either username or password field to get the access to the database. So what he will do, he will just put some malicious code in this username or password field. It will get executed on your database. And once that is executed, this hacker will get access to your database. Now, once the hacker will have access to a database, he can do anything with your application. And that is very a dangerous thing. So now I'll show you how this can be done. But just one notice for all of you. This is just for an educational purpose. So do not try it on unauthorized way. So I'll show you I have deployed one a sample web application so this is my simple and very a basic web application here I put a username and password to log in into the application and if username and password is correct it will just show me the output that you are logged in successfully and this is your details okay so that is a very basic web application I have created here now how it will validate my username and password so this is connected to the SQL Server database. So my web application is connected to SQL Server database and in database I have one table. So it will match the username and password into that table. So now I'll go to SQL Server. Okay, so I already executed a query here. Here you could see I have this uh, app user table and whatever the username and password here, it will validate and if it is True, then only it will give result to me. Now I'll try for this first username as a visual and password as a 12345. That is a very uh, basic operation I'm doing here. So what I will do, I'll just type visual and password I type 123. Okay, so this visual and password 1234. So what it will happen, so it will just fire or just check in database how it will check just just give me example from database side so select star from or i will just give app user where 
username is equal to Vishal and password is equal to one two three four five okay so if these both conditions are true so it is returning me the user details for myself suppose I have given something right here or a wrong password here so it give me an empty result so no values are matching so now let me try here I type my username and password correctly and I try to login so it will give me some result so it will take few moment okay so now it will show login successful and it is giving me the detail so don't worry about the format I just created a sample HTML page so whatever the details are there in database it is giving so the visual is username this is my password this is my city country and date of birth so whatever the details present in the database it is giving me these details okay. these details it is giving now suppose let me go back again I'll go back to here and now I'll try to log in using the wrong password okay so now I know I don't know the password so I'll just give something like one two k u s h and I try to log in okay so it will return back to login page again because my username and password are not correct so suppose I will try Vishal and password I will try X or like XYZ so it will just return back to the same screen okay now just think about that if here I don't know the password I only know the username and in this field I am just giving ABC okay so there is no result but what if here I am giving ABC so instead of ABC what I will give I will just type ABC this string or x is equal to x so this is a, a true condition I am giving the true condition so I just paste inside the password field okay and I'll try to execute this so even though the password I am giving is not correct and if I execute it it will give me data for all the users without knowing the password and now just think if I enter the same thing in my password field on my web page we entered in SQL will put here and I'll try to log in and boom you could see it displayed the details of all the users from my database so basically it got access to my database it shared all the details on web page not only for one user it shared details for all users so suppose there are thousands user in the database it will share the details of all the thousands users inside the database now why this happened so just go back here again so whatever the password field will be there it will just take as a string inside these two single quote okay and now if I am putting this part that is you could say as a malicious SQL statement as per a definition we are looking malicious SQL statements are inserted so what statement I am inserting so this is the statement so you can enter anything here instead of ABC and any condition which should be true but what is important or so now what I will do I will instead of this password field I will just put this here so what will happen it will check for username okay username visual is correct and it will check this should be correct or this should be correct because here is a or so either of this condition is true and this is true it will say your username and passwords are true so this we are giving a condition which should be always true that's why whenever we are giving that condition as always true it is giving access to a database okay so that is the way you can insert a malicious 
SQL statement into the entry field of a browser so that we can say as entry field of a browser and guest access to a data driven application or the database of a application so that's it all about SQL attack and again I'll say don't try this in an authorized way and also definitely there are a lot of techniques to avoid this SQL ingestion attack because I just want to explain this concept so I just took a very basic application which should not be having any kind of uh, attack prevention enabled for this but yeah if you are a web developer you might have aware of the technique to avoid this attack and in cloud also there are different services like in google cloud we have cloud armor to avoid a such kind of attacks so if you have any question related to this so let me know in a comment section and thank you for watching this video